his wife died. That time I was young. I was in my 20s. And uh, I used to call them Papa and Mom. So they were about 70 plus or 80 like that, many years before in Delhi. When uh, the wife died, I came to know. I said, uh, I'll come later. Now I'm far away and I can't come. After about 15 days, I went. And we had a cup of tea and everything I talked except his wife. And when I was going, he said, Swamiji, you are a real Swami. I said, what is a fake Swami? <laughs> he said, no. So many people came to meet me and they will be talking about the death of my wife. And unless I cry, they are not satisfied. And when I cry, then they feel that we have really done the condolence fully. <laughs> but you never made me cry. Therefore, you are a real Swami. I said, I tell you to be very frank with you. I didn't know whether you are miserable or happy. <laughs> See? Never make a miserable man more miserable by reminding his miseries. We have to bring him out of the miseries. Therefore, the more you talk about your miseries, the more miserable you become. Don't talk about the miseries. You are always happy. See? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Then, na shochati na kangshati. All that is gone is gone for good. Let us not unnecessarily create problems imaginary and start solving those imaginary problems. Like, you know, the Sudoku or Sukudu, what do you call? <laughs> Sudoku, huh? <laughs> Nicely sit in the plane and watch the beautiful picture which is going on. I always watch all the movies in the flight because they are free. <laughs> See? And there are lo lovely movies you get. And there then I am on all myself, not a Babaji. Oh, Swami Ji, how is the cinema in the cinema? All by myself. You know? See? Instead of enjoying that flight with a nice movie and good food, you take that Sukodu and Sudoku. Why waste your time? Enjoy! See? In this manner, live cheerfully and happily. Na shochati, na gongshati. Samaha sarveshu bhuteshu. Then all the differences dissolve. And friends, when you live with that spirit in you, you are never feeling that you are in an unknown place. Everywhere it is so homely. See? When I was going, my friend told me, Swamiji, you are coming to China, but with your this kind of dress and all that, will the object? I said, who cares? So, people were standing in the queue, immigration. There was one counter, nobody was there. VIPs and special guests, I straight away went there. Okay. There's no question of talking because I don't understand Chinese, they don't understand English. Only the smile. And there is no eye communication. I means small i as well as EYE. Their eyes are only slits. I don't know whether they see me fully or only half. <laughs> Where is the problem? And whenever I have gone to China, a dozen times I have gone. And I am a big hit there for two reasons. Among the gents, because of my beard. Anybody sees me, they do like this. Because they have got one hair. See? They are jealous. One, you know, Lama from one of the monastery, I was moving in the market. He came and he started playing with my beard. How lucky! What lucky? Dadi easily. That means all our sardars are lucky or what? They are happy. And among the ladies, because of my shoes. Oh, good, good, good. Designer's piece. Kadao. Pachas rupees me aata hai. Designer's piece. Enjoy, celebrate life. Let us not lead a fearful existence. There is nothing going to happen. Has anything happened till date? 
nothing. So here out, nothing will happen. Just be and be happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purna Aat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om